and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about relying on your e-bike throttle so now it depends on your bike because some bikes are strictly pedal assist only without a throttle and then some have both throttle and pedal assist and of course if they don't have pedal uh, abilities then they're not really an e-bike right so um, my bikes have the pedal assist and throttle and some bikes have different types of throttles like uh, for example there can be a full twist throttle there can be a half twist throttle or some bikes have the thumb throttle we all have probably preferences and uh, I suppose you can get used to whichever one you have on your bike or change it up if you wanted to but um, forgot to turn my light on on my helmet so I prefer the I really like the half twist throttle for myself uh, I think it's partly because I'm used to that and I have ridden things in the past not e-bikes but uh, other motorized vehicles that have had the thumb throttle and I didn't like it I mean you're for me anyway I remember my thumb getting tired I know some people might find that funny but it, it kind of did it kind of got sore after a while so I kind of like the twist throttle you know you can just kind of hold your hand there just like you're you get it to whatever speed you want and then you can just hold it there like you're um, you're just gripping the hand grips you know and you're you're not extending your thumb it, I don't know I just it's a personal preference for me but I'm sure the folks that have the uh, thumb throttle that like that they probably have arguments that why they like or reasons I shouldn't say shouldn't say arguments I should say reasons why they like or prefer the thumb throttle but anyway so but the question is do you rely on your throttle do you use it quite a bit or are you more of a maybe rare to use your throttle or maybe it's just there and you just like to just use the pedal assist only for me i'm both uh, i like to be able to um, get by this intersection here i like to be able to uh, use the uh, throttle especially for things like going through intersections which I've mentioned multiple times on videos and also for uh, if I'm uh, going up a hill um, I know you can probably uh, use your gears and all and, and pedal away but uh, you know when you've got the throttle there um, then I use it places that I don't use it for sure would be like um, pedestrian slash bike paths or, or anywhere where you're gonna just go really slow anyway you don't really need you know I just like it for uh, like I say going through intersections is the quick acceleration to get through that intersection because that's not the funnest place to be in my opinion is going through the intersections especially on a busy uh, intersection so so that uh, is when I like to use the throttle and then going up hills. I mean, I'm not going to fight it. I mean, um, that's why I got the Grizzly uh, bike for uh, climbing hills, you know, so I don't have to try to overexert. I could probably do it. I know I can, but uh, especially if I'm out riding after working all day, I don't really feel like using that much extra power I mean I just like coming out for the fun of riding you know 
and um, so I guess if I had my way I'd prefer to have all flat <laughs> all flat roads and we probably all would like that or flat trails but anyway uh, so that's when I would use the throttle more and then uh, I suppose too if I was in a bit of a hurry to get somewhere I might use the throttle go a little faster but so I checked the uh, temperature before I came out for this ride this is at about 2 30 in the afternoon uh, and the temperature was 42 degrees so pretty pleasant uh, overcast sky and there was no wind so wind is not a factor today so pretty nice pretty nice day out not bad at all it's just been an overcast kind of a cloudy and overcast day but um, a break from the rain is always good so what are your thoughts on the throttle uh, and pedal assist do you throttle uh, do you use kind of both like I do or do you are you more of a pedal assist only and not so much uh, throttling or do you just throttle and don't even pedal at all I mean there are times that I just throttle too and just don't pedal at all but um, like I say especially on uh, bike pass slash pedestrian pass I do not uh, throttle I will pedal so uh, yeah let me know in your get across here what you uh, what your opinion is on that do you I mean there's no right answer or wrong answer it's whatever we're comfortable with right so do you like to uh, kind of use a bit of both or do you more one way or the other I mean sometimes there's folks that have the throttle option but they only uh, pedal you know they just don't use the throttle at all but I think the other uh, good thing about a throttle though especially if you're going like say a longer distance and you need a break at some point you know maybe it's in the hot summer and you know you want to take a break from uh, from pedaling it's kind of like putting your bike into coast mode uh, right so when you're a kid you know it was really fun I know it was for me and I'm sure it was for you guys going down hills you know the hard part was getting up that hill but it sure was fun uh, when you could uh, coast down it for sure and so that's kind of what the uh, electric bike is if you use the uh, throttle it's kind of like you're coasting all the time you know so but there's nothing wrong with that it gets you out on your bike uh, you know um, some people uh, just can't pedal you know for maybe for uh, you know, uh, health reasons and uh, that's fine so anyway yeah that's uh, the talk about throttle and uh, like I say I much prefer the twist over the thumb um, but I suppose, you know, uh, in time you get used to uh, whichever, you know, or you can swap it out, like I say. I'm sure it's not that difficult to swap out. Back when we had only traditional bikes, we didn't have a choice of throttle. Our throttle was our legs. And I, uh, as a kid, I did a, and into my teenage years, I did an awful lot of uh, bike riding. I rode miles and miles. And uh, 
can't believe, you know, looking back that I rode as, as long as I did a 10-speed bike. Uh, they're fine and all, but big difference riding one of these uh, fat tire bikes compared to the old 10-speed. Lots of traffic here right now as we uh, get into the late afternoon now. Get across here. So yeah, let, let me know in the comments if you uh, want to make a comment on this video or any other video go ahead and make a comment I try to get to all the comments sometimes it gets to be quite a few comments but uh, I do my best and if I'm not answering right away it's because I'm not able to because I do work full time uh, but I do my best to get them uh, when I can and uh, so that's going to do it for this video Thank you for joining me on this video here. And if you like this video, hit the like button. If you would like to subscribe, you can hit that subscribe button. Tell your friends about us. And uh, also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. So once again, thank you for joining me today. And as always, until next time, take care.